A storm of radiation almost fried Apollo, just six weeks off target. An invisible bullet missed the moon by six weeks. In August 1972, the sun fired a chain of flares so violent that radio antennas crackled and U.S. Navy sea mines blew up off Haiphong. Inside Mission Control, planners realized the timing was terrifying, Apollo 16 had splashed down in April, and Apollo 17 wouldn't launch until December. A crew in cislunar space during that storm would have absorbed up to 4000 millisieverts, lethal without swift medical care. Pioneer 9 felt the shock wave 13 hours after liftoff, while Earth's magnetosphere shrank to a flimsy rind. Radiation analyst Jack Miller re-ran those models and blanched, the command module's aluminum skin blocked barely a tenth of those proton torrents. EVA suits offered none. A single moonwalk could have turned live TV into a medical emergency. The tempest finally eased on August 11. Engineers quietly drafted a storm shelter plan, astronauts would crawl under water tanks and batteries if the sun flared again. When Gene Cernan's Apollo 17 lifted off on December 7, the crew carried extra film and one sobering memo, solar particle event probability remains elevated. Today every Artemis capsule contains a hardened radiation bunker, a reminder that luck, not foresight, once saved the last men on the moon.